It's time for tea, and this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And when you see me with the squad, we're either spilling or sipping tea, or maybe having a guest join us in the studio. I am Ifeo Lua Oshunkeya, and I'm here with the flamboyant Ewaritu and the controversial Benny Ak. What's good? Controversial. He's thinking about No, no, no. He likes that one today. <laughs> Are you he, sure? He, he always says it's controversial, so I think mm, it's cool so with that. So you're proud of that now. But there's really nothing controversial about me. I knew it was going to I beg, I beg, please, let's just move on. In fact, today, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the mood to argue. Let's just move on. On today's lineup. <laughs> I knew it was getting there. He has something to say. Okay, so there's nothing controversial about you. No. But the last sure? time you said, oh, no, I think I'm more controversial. They say, they say, but I don't think there's anything. I, I just have an opinion on things. Well, let's say we're part of the day, and then we're saying and, you're okay. controversial. I have, I have a view about it. Okay, you say you have an opinion on stuff, right? This is my opinion you're controversial right Check out. that's what they say okay drops mic <laughs> <laughs> on today's lineup there's an update on the blessing of Cora's lawsuit which was filed by Tatcha's lawyers it will be recalled that Tatcha filed for 20 million as compensation for damages embarrassment and psychological trauma after blessing Okoro took to social media to accuse Tatcha of sending assassins to her however blessing Okoro has reacted to the lawsuit she said her ex took her to court she won the case after five years and it only cost her money and time Hmm. Well, this time around, wow. she will probably not win. So she says she's that, that is, she's trying to tell us that she's ready to go to court, regardless. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Hmm. So, what do you guys think of this? Wow. I, I don't know. Only if truly Tasha sent somebody to kill her. If not, and she can provide she substantial can evidence, evidence beyond reasonable doubt. If not, she will pay that money and she will apologize. I mean, instead of going all through, going through all the stress, why can't she just admit They'll that? They'll probably settle something... out of courts when it gets big and all. Mm. Like the two-faced and black face thing, right. and then they go for arbitration and all of that. So let's see how this goes. This blessing girl, she's pretty audacious. Pretty, pretty audacious. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually concerned. I'm, I'm looking at that from another angle. Is she mentally OK? I, I think, think she so. needs a yeah. So I mean, she needs some assessment. This is not normal. This is not No, usual. I started I started doubting her mental state when she did that video claiming somebody else's house as ours. Yeah. So and I then mean, I started. Even with proof that you're not the owner of the house, she still stood her ground that that's her house. Until they, got her, yeah, until, they, son, so. son, until they got her arrested before she now said, oh, yeah, it's not her house. Even at, after that, she didn't even come out to say that that house is not her house. She just said they've settled and then, mm. like, everybody should just move on from it. Well, so, so like, um, um, I, I don't get, like Benny said, I, I think, think she needs a psych yeah. evaluation. We need to actually know what's going on with her. Unless she has... Um, evidence against Thatcher. And if she does, she should bring that out. This Already, is the right time you know. to bring it out <laughs> and just expose everything. It's like um, the Angela Okore story as well. People mm. are saying that, why would you be a victim and then want to change the story? Meaning, is either someone you're owing money, somebody you're sleeping with your partner, mm. or do you understand? So something is, something is fishy story. about, so mm. if you have enough evidence, just come out already and just let us know that, OK, really, Tatcha sent people to kill me. But if you don't have that, then please. And then rumor has it that um, the boys that she recorded that Tasha sent to kill her, she was, uh, I think she probably bashed their car or something, because some of the guy came out and was saying that they are not sent by anybody to kill her, and then she was even the one at fault. And I'm wondering, like Benny said, is this guy all right? Yeah. Okay, on that note, I think we'll just keep wondering if um, Blessing Okoro is all right. So singer Simi is also in the news, and I think I'm on the same page with her on this one. As she posted on her Instagram story that she wants to leave social media at least five times a day, she further said that most of the things she says just seem to be fake, noisy, and unnecessary, pointless, tiring, and she emphasized the fake. She kept on repeating fake a lot. She also revealed that people show only the shiny parts of their lives, and most trolls only do it because they're hiding from their own lives. And I totally agree with her on this one, because if you think about it, a lot of people just show you um, the good part, the shiny part of their life. They don't show you the struggle. They show you only the glory. You understand? Okay, that um, let me come in here. If I, what do you post? What, what do you show to people? Well. What does Simi show? Does Simi show to us when she's going through a lot? I mean, first, let's understand what social, social media, media. Yeah, what it's about. 
if you what you what you see is I, I think it depends on what you're following if you're not following mm. what is fake you won't see what you is know fake. you know a if thought you, crossed my mind mm. i'm saying instagram should have categories of people you want to follow mm. you understand like if it's gossip click on gossip right. if it's um, motivational stuff click on motivation it's very stuff. easy for, but, for instagram just follow everything that has to do with gossip and everything you will get is going to be about gossip, gossip. follow everything that has to do with um education everything you get will be on education in fact people following you mm. will be people that are related to that kind of whatever it is so i feel if you want to leave social media it's okay for you to leave but don't to be honest i'm, I'm tired of people making announcements that they want to leave if you want to leave for your not own just charity, she doesn't just want to leave she wants to leave at least five times a day <laughs> For that, um, but let's think I'm about confused. it. Let's think about it. Really. Just, Don't me, you think a lot of things we see on social media are quite pointless, noisy, and irrelevant stuff? I, me, I will still ask you who do you follow? It depends on who you follow and what you want to see. If you want to see things that are not fake, trust me, you'll see it. And you don't have to be on Instagram. I mean, Instagram is where the fake life is, yeah? Because that's where you get to post pictures and live the life and all. You don't have to be on Instagram. I mean, there are other social media platforms that you can be on. Okay, this just um, takes me to the pastor that said Instagram is a wait, <laughs> <laughs> Twitter is a twister. So, <laughs> I, I think, Benny, you haven't said much on this. Um, because I think the, the issue about social media and Instagram, what is, what is for gazy or what is not, it's mm. been, I feel it's, it's been of a flog, then people will never change. Mm. Um, Emma rightly said, it, what, what, what are your core values? Yesterday, I was actually looking at the people I'm following. I am, I'm following about 800 and something people. I'm like, mm. why are you following 800 and something people? I have less than like 4,000 following, mm -hmm. and I'm following 850 people. I just told myself, you know, by the weekend, I was going to sit down and see if I'm... Because um, who you follow largely says a lot about you yourself. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's who you are, you know, mm -hmm. your, your dominant self will always gravitate towards what it is you, you are, towards what's in other people. Sure. So people who want to live fake lives gravitate towards fake people. Mm. People just want to live their life to, to make people believe that they're ballers. Gravitate toward people who are ballers. So um, it's garbage in, garbage out, right. you know, sure. that's what it is. So I think for us, we need to re people need to reassess what their core values are, mm -hmm. what your philosophy is for living is all about, and that would now decide to um, choose, help you choose okay, who to follow, follow yeah. and who not, not to, follow. to follow. You don't pay attention to what eventually becomes a waste of time because whether you like it or not, people will post what they want to post. I'm telling you, and people will, <laughs> no, you don't yeah. expect anybody to, I mean, be going through dark times. When people bring the, the story, I mean, people sit in front of camera and then they cry and say all those things. People will say they are cloud chasing. Mm, yeah. You know, Nobody's so, going to bring their So I think for me, I'm beginning to media. think it's not necessary about, you know, um, it's not necessarily about what is posted. It's about what we endorse and glorify mm -hmm. on yeah. social and media. Where that. we begin, to, where, where we begin to say, you know, this is a standard and a norm for mm -hmm. living. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's our endorsing, our glorifying those things. We all know, you know, this is this isn't right. Because I'll never glorify a man or endorse a man. I don't know his source of livelihood, and he's mm -hmm. just on social media right. showing me how he's mm -hmm. displaying well up I and down. I can't even be bothered. That's yeah. it. <laughs> and that's what the, that was what I was going to point out. That a lot of pre people are pressured mm -hmm. about what uh, with what they see but really why should you be pressured it just shows your personality yourself because if you're pressured if you're, you're, not, gr you're greedy you're yeah, yeah. You're greedy. So, so. because if you believe in time and um hard work then you shouldn't be pressured by right. another person's right. success so um it's time for a break but when we return we'll be joined by our studio guest stay locked Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from my love. We like. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Woo. 
Welcome back, and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Joining us on the show is a singer, a songwriter who is versatile and a great stage performer. He's unique in his he's unique in one of the new generation act, and that is and he's unique in his lyrical content and dress sense. He's also very disciplined in his delivery. He has graced the biggest stages in the country and wowed his audience. He calls the style of music Jellof music. He has worked with the likes of CDQ, Solid Star, Zorro. He just dropped a new single title. Titled Perfection after almost a year when it released Mama's Prayer, where he featured Solid Star and Zorro on the song. This guy has many talents and as he's he is also a fashion designer, a model, and an aspiring actor. With no further ado, let's give a warm welcome to man like I see. What up, bro? I feel good, I feel good to be here with uh, you guys. Uh, I'm excited. Wow. Yeah. First question is, what's yeah. Jell-Off music? I mean, I was going to answer that. Uh, jell music, for me, is like, uh, for me, is a combo of different genre of music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I, when I'm inspired, I could want to do reggae, but I like R&B to be in it. You understand? So I call those combinations, when you have the conga playing and you're playing the guitar at the same time, that's Afro. Guitar mm -hmm. gives you reggae, gives you R&B. So when you fuse it, I call it Jell-Off music for myself. Mm -hmm. Jell-Off or jell -off? Jollof music. You can, if you're a Ghanaian, so call it Jollof. Jollof Jollof music. For if you're nice, your own so type of yes, Jollof that's music. my genre. Yeah. Okay, exactly. so it's a blend of everything. Blend of, yes, just, just like his like weekend. <laughs> it was a blend <laughs> of so many things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, being um, an emerging artist in Nigeria, how easy has that been for you? And what are some of the challenges you face, and how do you think you can overcome those challenges? I say easy in a setup. Mm -hmm. yeah, that'll be easy actually, but yeah, of course, if you want to do something, you want to achieve something, you have to just stay focused. Forget the distractions, keep moving, keep moving. There will be challenges, there will be, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be big challenges along the road, but just stay focused and keep moving and keep moving. Financially, it has been hard. You know, we don't have a label, but now people are, they are interested in coming in here. So, of course, it hasn't been easy, but for now, we're good. But is music uh, like paying the bills? Uh, now it's paying the bills. Before it wasn't paying the bills at all. So I do fashion. Mm. Yes, I'm a very creative person. I like to sketch. I like to create my kind of outfit. So I think I'm favored. When I wear something, people like it. So mm. from there, I do fashion as my side hustle. Mm. But music is my main hustle. And you're also a model, right? Yeah, I'm a model, but for a while now, maybe if they see me now on Plus TV, I'll get more deals <laughs> Oh, when did you start music? Because you're saying then, it yeah, wasn't about, paying, now it's paying. Yeah, I started like, like about five years ago, oh. five, six years ago. Professionally, my first video was four years ago, yes. All we need is love. I just dropped the video, I went to, to a TV station and they liked the song and started playing it all around. That was my first, I didn't know anybody actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my first song dropped like five years ago, yes. After my university, I just dropped that single. Now tell me where your, your kind of music, when people listen to your music, what, what do you want them to feel? What is your message in your music? And with people listening to your vibe, what exactly do you want them to feel with every one of your music? Okay, actually, for me, first of all, I start with what inspires me. And I feel music is a spirit. Mm -hmm. When you feel something and you, you, you pass out, people will feel the same thing you feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first, first of all, I want people to understand that music is a tool to be happy. You know, to feel good, mm. and that's what I pass in my music. Be happy, feel good, and message. You understand? So that's the basic three things I like to pass in my music. Like my last single, which was before now, I did with Solid Star Zero, was I was just thinking, how do I appreciate my mom, myself, as, as an artist? Okay, and that morning I was in my room, and like, okay, she prays, she calls me in the morning, I'm the first one, she calls me in the morning and pray for me, calls me at night and pray for me. Yo, that prayer takes me places. Mm -hmm. So I say, my mama prayed on the Woku, that's how I got the title. Mm -hmm. I called Zoro, he liked the idea, I called Solista. And so that's what I just want people to feel this message, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you, mentioned, you mentioned two artists known now, Zoro, Solista. Are there other collaborations you've done so far? Uh, still uh, CDQ. Okay, actually, I've done with CDQ, one of a kind. Yes. And I have a song coming out with Shane Shea soon. That's, That's in 2020, yes. All right, so um, finally, um, 
Perfection is your new project, right? Yes. And um, tell us about that. Why Perfection and why did you title it Perfection? Uh, perfection is about ladies. I met this lady and she's actually, seen her actually gives me good vibe. I, I don't date actually for a long time because of many things, but right now I've seen a Such as? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you need such to as say many, it. Many things <laughs> such as, tell us. You know, the truth is about uh, um, basically getting a lady that is your kind, understands mm. you, mm. ain't easy. Mm. That's the truth. We have ladies everywhere. They can jump you. Not Do you try here. hard enough? Uh, you don't need to try too much to get a lady that's yours. True. The chemistry will just link up. You see yourself and you think you're good. You don't want to even know what's my bad part. You just believe, yeah, this is my guy and you're good. Yeah. So it took me a time, and I think right now, let's see how that goes. And seeing her, I got that concept, everything, and I wrote that song. Okay, so you did that song for your girlfriend? My you girlfriend, connecting to other girls, yes. Oh, yeah, you now has a girlfriend. Oh, you no, said you have not dated for uh, a while, but... Oh. You yeah. now have a girlfriend, right? I have a girlfriend now, yes. So you did perfection for your girlfriend? Yes, that Okay, way. assurance. <laughs> <laughs> no. That is perfection. All right, so is she perfect, though? She is, yes. All right, so are you dropping the visuals for that song anytime soon? Yes, I'm dropping the visuals in 2020. Okay. Like January, yeah, by God's grace. Short already? Do you have anything, like, any project you're working on aside perfect? Okay, I'm working on my album by God's Grace. Okay. Coming up in March next year by God's Grace. So I'm really on it. That's why she, she's coming. Some other artists that I know will jump on the album as well. Too. All right. Yes. Even though we're having a very interesting conversation, we got to go. We got to go. Thank you for watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, goes to my co-anchors, Ewa and Benny, for their contributions and our studio guest, Ice and the entire production team. I am Ifeo Luo Shinkaya saying thank you for watching and stay blessed.